How to install Windows 7. This step-by-step -step guide demonstrates how to install Windows 7 Ultimate. The guide is similar for other versions of Windows 7. An operating system, or OS, is software that communicates with the hardware and allows other programs to run. It is comprised of system software, or the fundamental files your computer needs to boot up and function. Every desktop computer, tablet, and smartphone include an operating system that provides basic functionality for the device. Windows 7 System Requirements If you want to run Windows 7 on your PC, here's what it takes. 1 GHz or faster 32-bit, x86, or 64-bit, x64, processor. 1 GB RAM, 32-bit, or 2 GB RAM, 64-bit. 16 GB available hard disk space, 32-bit, or 20 GB, 64-bit. DirectX 9 graphics device with WDDM 1.0 or higher driver. How to install Windows operating system, particularly Windows 7. Okay, so to improve the performance of your computer in terms of its speed. Okay, so you need to install a fresh copy of the Windows operating system. Okay, so first you're going to set your computer to a first boot. Okay, so you need to know the brand of your computer. So first you turn on your computer press the power button then before it loads you press F2 F2 with this ASUS computer okay so this is the BIOS utility okay or you need to set the BIOS first bot device okay so first you click Or you make sure before you turn on, you make sure to insert this flash drive to a USB port. So this USB contains or this is a portable USB Windows 7 created using the ROFOS. Okay, so next you're going to click advanced mode here at the bottom and then you set the security you click security and then you scroll down or you can also use the arrow key then click secure bot okay here Okay, click this secure boot and then you need to disable this one. So if this is enabled, you need to use the disable. Okay, so after you disable the secure boot control, you click boot and then you make sure that the CM, CSM support and this launch VXE is enabled and then you can click here at the bot options here select and then you can if there are no flash drive actually you cannot see the flash drive uh, that's okay then you click save and exit and then you click save changes and exit click this one and then you click okay okay so before it loads you press the escape key on your keyboard escape press escape press until you can see the bot options okay here you can see a flash drive here usb
USB flash drive. So, you click this one, and then you press any any key on the keyboard. Okay, so it's starting to load Windows 7 operating system. Okay, so next you click, you set the language to English, and then here you can click next. Okay, so step two the next screen allows you to set up your language, time, and currency format, keyboard, or input method. Choose your required settings and click next to continue. Step 3, the next screen allows you to install or repair Windows 7. Since we are doing a clean install we will click on install now. Step 4, read the license terms and tick I accept license terms. Then click next to continue. Step 5, you will now be presented with two options. Upgrade or custom, advanced. Since we are doing a clean install we will select custom, advanced. Step 6, choose where you would like to install Windows 7. If you have one hard drive you will get a similar option to the image below. You can click next to continue. If you have more than one drive or partition then you need to select the appropriate drive and click next. If you need to format or partition a drive then click drive options, advance, before clicking next. Step 7, Windows 7 starts the installation process and starts copying all the necessary files to your hard drive as shown on the image below. Step 8, it will go through various stages of the setup and will reboot your system few times. Step 9, when your PC reboots it attempts to boot from USB as it's the first boot device. Do not press any key during the boot prompt so Windows 7 will continue with the installation by booting from the hard drive. Step 10, after the reboot your computer will be prepared for first use. Step 11, at this stage you need to choose a username and computer name. Click next to continue. The user account you create here is the administrator account which is the main account for your Windows 7 that has all the privileges. Step 12, choose your password and password hint just in case you forget your password and need to jog your memory. You have also an option not to put password click next. Step 13, you can now type the product key that came with Windows 7 and click next. If you do not enter the product key you can still proceed to the next stage. However, Windows 7 will run in trial mode for 30 days. You must therefore activate Windows within 30 days otherwise you cannot access your computer after 30 days. Step 14, help protect your computer and improve windows automatically choose use recommended settings step 15 review your time and date settings select your time zone correct the date and time and click next to continue step 16 select your computer's current location if you are a home user then choose home network otherwise select the appropriate option step 17 Windows will now finalize the settings for your computer and restart. Step 18, after the final restart Windows 7 will start to boot up. Step 19, finally you have the logon screen. Just type your password and press enter or click on the arrow to log on to Windows 7 for the first time. If you set for no password it will automatically open Windows 7. Step 20, after you have logged on to Windows 7 for the first time, you will see similar desktop to the image below. At this point you can now start using your computer. This is Sartek, thank you so much for watching. If this video helpful to you please consider subscribing in appreciation.